On behalf of everyone in Fife, a very warm welcome to all those on board the QE2. We're absolutely delighted that this majestic liner, as she makes her farewell tour, is visiting the Firth of Forth. This grand lady of the ocean is visiting these coastal waters for the last time, but has visited many times before. And today, as in the past, many have come down to bid a fond farewell to this much-loved ship as she visits Scottish waters for the final time. The Kingdom of Fife has a great history, and I thought it a fitting tribute to the QE2's farewell visit that these greetings should be made from one of our many historic landmarks. I'm standing in the kirkyard of Dunfermline Abbey, which dates back to 800 AD and is the burial place of King Robert Bruce. Across the kirkyard wall is the 12th century Abbot House. Nearby is the birthplace and museum of that much travelled philanthropist, Andrew Carnegie. As you travel into the fourth, weather permitting, I hope you have a chance to view some spectacular views of our remarkable coastline and our coastal path, which attracts over half a million visitors a year. I hope that in the future, some of you will be able to come back to Fife and visit the many other attractions we have to offer, including our award-winning beaches, championship golf links, historic building sites of St Andrew's Castle and Cathedral, Falkland Palace, Dunfermline Abbey, the outstanding conservation area of Coross, and the charming fishing villages along the East Duke of Ely, St Monet's, Prison Wien, and the two larger coastal towns joining them, Anstruther and Creil. Some spectacular events have been organised as a fitting tribute to the QE2's final journey to Scottish waters. May I wish you all a safe passage as this grand ocean liner makes her final and last journey to Dubai. As Edinburgh is Lord Provost, I take this opportunity to welcome you to Edinburgh on the final voyage of the QE2. Edinburgh is an inspiring city. It's been called the Athens of the North. And it's fitting that this final voyage of the QE2 brings it to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a beautiful, dynamic, cosmopolitan city with a unique architectural heritage and a magnificent natural setting. A combination that has led Edinburgh being designated the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is host to thousands of visitors who come here throughout the year to enjoy our many cultural and sporting events, such as the world-famous International Festival. We now have 17 festivals. With around 1 million overseas visitors a year, Edinburgh is the UK's most visited tourist destination outside London. The city is the UK's most popular business tourism destination with people travelling from all over the world to attend conferences on a wide variety of subjects. It is the country's second financial centre and is currently rated with London as the UK's most prosperous city. Edinburgh has a long reputation for academic excellence and was the first Scottish city to establish a civic university in 1583. Our academic and medical institutions are currently at the forefront of research in a variety of fields and attract students and staff from every corner of the world. Edinburgh is also the first city to be awarded UNESCO City of Literature status and is home to many celebrated authors, to J.K. Rowling, to Sandy McCall Smith and to Ian Rankin. I'm sure you will enjoy your visit to Edinburgh and I look forward to welcoming you back in the future to enjoy the city. Thank you.